What's cooking guys? Multi-camera shoots can be pretty fun, but when it comes to editing, it can be a little tricky. But Premiere Pro actually has a way where you can edit a multi-camera sequence extremely fast. You can act as a switcher. It's really fun and it gets the job done fast. So let's get into it. All right guys, so in my case, I'm using a two camera, but this works for three cameras, four cameras, five cameras, as many cameras as you want. But in my case, like I said, I'm using two cameras. So here I have my two cameras here along with an audio clip that has the clean audio that the guy was wearing like a lav. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a sequence created, which I do right here. And I'm gonna first drag down one of my clips. This is camera one, so I wanna put this on my bottom layer. We'll zoom out just a little bit. And then here I have camera two. I am going to drag this down and put it on my top clip here. Before I add my main audio clip, I want to just highlight both of these, right click, and I'm gonna synchronize them and should be on audio, hit okay. It'll process for a bit. And then it syncs them up just like that. And the audio should be matched up perfectly. Um, um, um. And that's good. So I'm just gonna shorten these, make them together, uh, remove that space, just make these together as well. So now that I have my audio sunk with both my cameras, I don't need both audio clips, I just need one. So I'm gonna keep my camera one and I'm gonna delete my camera two audio because they're all sunk up now. So I'm going to lock the top layer, delete that audio, and there we go. And then now I can drag my other audio clip down here, pretty long. I can just put it in the center, doesn't really matter. And I should be able to just highlight these and synchronize these now, and it should line up perfectly. And there we go. And I can just move this audio down. Again, delete that space. Don't need that. And they should line up pretty well. Just double check. Before I was a wedding DJ, I, was I just mute this layer and, uh, to make sure. Part about this job that I love the most is finding new music, um, understanding music. Yep, they're all linked up. So now I can delete this camera one audio, just lock that layer, and then I can delete that audio. And now I just need one audio track. I mean, I could technically mute those layers rather than delete them, but I just like to mute them, get out of the way. Now we have my main audio clip and both my cameras. Now we're all ready to start with the switcher and to start actually editing this multi-camera shoot. To do that, I'm going to just highlight these all again, right click, nest. And I'm gonna just name this whatever you want. You don't have to name it, I'd like to name it. This is Matt DJ Interview. Okay, and now I have a nested sequence. Now I just need to enable a couple multi-camera features here. So the first one's in my nested sequence, right click on it and up near multi-camera, you just wanna enable it. And now I want to come over to this gear icon, settings, click on that, and then up here you'll see multi-camera. So here I have the main program window where I'll be able to see the main camera that's being featured. And over here you'll actually be able to see the preview window of your camera one, camera two, and if you had more cameras, three, four, blah, blah, blah. So of course I'm gonna start with my camera one over here. And what we're basically going to do is we're just gonna hit the play button and as it's playing, I'm going to switch between camera one and camera two. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can play it and switch between camera one and camera two by clicking on these like this, which can be easier because you actually can see the camera and you can actually click on it or you can use the number keys, one, two, meaning camera one is one key, camera two is two keys, so on and so forth and switch between them that way. Sometimes that can get a little tricky if you um, aren't too familiar with like using them as like a switcher. Both ways work. I'm gonna be using the number keys just cause it's, I only have a two camera shoot. It's not too hard to get confused by uh, one and two. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play it and switch between camera one and camera two by just hitting one and two. So here we go. Cool. Switch so camera two. Camera one. Camera two, and I'm gonna pause it right there. And now instantly we can see down here that it created cuts in my timeline. You can see I started with my camera one here, cut happened to camera two, back to camera one, and then camera two again. And what you basically do is you just do that same exact process, watch the whole clip, and then just switch between camera one, camera two, or go through your camera like this. Like I explained to you before, a little easier. And there we go. And then it creates all those different cuts again. And then after you finish, or if you want to go back and you say you want the 
first clip to actually start with camera two, not camera one. You can always just go to that first clip, click on it, and just switch it to camera two, and now it will play camera two. You gotta be a little careful sometimes because if you do the number keys at this point, like say I wanna switch this to camera two and I hit two on the keyboard, some reason mutes this bottom layer, and I'm not really sure why. You just gotta be careful of that, so that's why in this case, I would just click on the monitor up here and switch it to camera two, and now it's two. And then the cut will stay there, and it will just stay as camera two. And then there's one more thing you can actually do to edit your cuts. Say you cut to camera two too fast and you wish you cut it a lot earlier or a lot later. There's actually a really easy way you can um, edit your cuts like that. And it's simple by hitting N on the keyboard, which is also over here, which is the rolling edit tool. And this is so handy for situations like this. You get to where you actually want it. I'll zoom in for you and the plus and minus key. Say I wanted to hit to camera two here. All I need to do is grab on uh, the cut, pull back, and then it will adjust the sequence accordingly. And now my cut happens sooner. Or if I wanted to cut way down here, now it will cut a lot sooner. And of course, when you're watching and you're switching between your cameras and there's like a mess up, you could always just pause it and cut out that mess up with C and everything like that and then delete it. But there's actually an easier way you can do that. Another shortcut for you is like, say the mess up is right on this cut. I pause and like, this is him talking, messing up. What you can do is you can hit Q on the keyboard and it will bring, it will delete all of this straight to the most previous cut and get rid of it and then adjust the timeline accordingly. And of course, if you wanna cut out some of the dead space in between the cuts, you can use the same method Q to kind of get rid of this all to this last cut. Or you can hit W to go the opposite direction to go to the next cut rather than the previous cut. And it'll do that and kind of fine tune your edits just like that. I actually made a video on shortcuts you can use in Premiere Pro that will speed up your editing. I'll link it in this video. All right, guys, that's how you edit a multi-camera sequence in Premiere Pro. It's super easy, it's fast, and it'll save you so much time. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.